people are always asking us why we do what we do. It's really a hard answer, but we're really doing it for the rush to try and achieve and capture the ultimate shot. And at the same time, we're getting the feelings almost the same as what the athletes are getting. We're in the zone with them, getting pounded by the waves, hanging out of helicopters real close up to them. So really, we're getting an added rush at the same time. Getting the right shot at the right time is really crucial. So the right person behind the lens is going to play a big part. Someone that's fearless, knows their limits, but goes a little bit beyond their limits. That's really what counts. My favorite place is being in the zone with the athletes out in the water. You get uh, very close to the impact zone and you have a 50-50 chance of making it and not making it and it's challenging and that's what's exciting about it. In the making of any extreme sports video, Obviously there are a couple of elements that come into play that will allow the success of the video. For example, we're fortunate to work with some of the top athletes in the world. But no matter how good their moves are, if there's no one to document them, they go unnoticed. So yeah, we're fortunate to have helicopter pilots. For them to get right into the action is no big deal at all. I mean, they get right in below the wave, we're looking up at the wave, and it's really quite exciting on its own just flying with these guys just hoping to get back home alive, but they're really good, get you into the action, but they get you out at the same time. The cameras we're using are getting smaller and smaller, which actually allows for some really unique point of view angles. It's a really time consuming process as very often we can spend a whole day of preparation and filming for like just a few seconds. But it's really a pretty cool perspective and it kind of puts the viewer in the pilot seat. <laughs> 